brought to you by Bethel School of Technology. Learn more at BethelTech.net slash Ken Coleman. This is a uh, Gallup article. Uh, nearly 50% of people are considering leaving their jobs in 2024. This is more than the Great Resignation. Okay, so quick context. The Great Resignation uh, was, a, let's call it about a two-year period, two and a half roughly, coming out of the pandemic and we saw more than 4 million, it was 4 plus million people every month were resigning. And that's a record. And this continued for about a two-year period, okay? And uh, this is, it was it's pretty extraordinary. And by the way, um, this is because when we came out of the pandemic, crazy as it seems, the pandemic spun off a lot of new jobs. So 4 million people during the pandemic left work or were uh, laid off, fired, and they didn't come back. But the actual pandemic period spun off 4 million new jobs because our life changed dramatically. And as business always does, business pivots with it. So pretty interesting time. Okay, Now, then there were more jobs, new jobs, and people were going, oh, I can come over here. And so Company started going, hey, I'm going to entice you. I'm going to offer you somewhere between 15 to 20% bump. And that's what really created the great resignation. People were like, hey, 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 I can get a nice bump. I'm out. Deuces, right? Well, so then when people were leaving, then the companies they left were like, we need to get somebody back in here. And so watch what happened. By the way, this is a little, for our audience, this is Economics 101. Okay? We don't teach this stuff in schools. So what happened was is people were leaving for more money. The people they left behind had to get somebody in, and so they started recruiting other people. And so it created this increase in demand, supply, demand. Demand was high, supply low. We were at uh, about 11, 12 million jobs available. So there were about two jobs available for every person that was unemployed. That creates massive demand, low supply. Hello, salaries, hourly wages went up. Anybody want to take a guess as to what kind of impact that had on inflation? It had a lot. Because if I'm paying a kid $17 an hour to flip a burger at Burger King, guess what I have to do? And everybody gets offended when I say this, people who don't understand capitalism and economics. But if Burger King wants to still make money, they got to charge you more for the Whopper. Okay, so this is the economic impact that this has. Quick review. This is what drives up your bread drives up your cost of clothing, is this right here, labor costs. Okay. All right, now, here's where we're at. So prior to the pandemic, the, the amount of people saying, I'm thinking about changing jobs in the year ahead was a lot lower than it was at the end of 2023. Nearly 46% of professionals say they are considering quitting in 2024. Again, that's higher than where we were before the 2021 Great Resignation took off. This, by the way, new research from Microsoft and LinkedIn. Okay, And by the way, this isn't just an American issue. This is 30,000 people they surveyed in 31 countries. That is a massive, massive sample size. All right. LinkedIn has seen an increase of 14% in job applications. So we're starting to see this in real numbers. And, and again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain how this affects you in just a moment. So inflation is now driving more and more people to say, I'm not making enough. So if some of you are wondering, what does the Fed do and how long is inflation going to stay around as it relates to your daily and your weekly and your monthly budget? You need to understand that I don't think inflation is going to cool for a while. So what does that mean? I don't think the Fed's going to drop rates. You might as well get used to where we are right now. Okay. No one can predict this, but if you just look at fundamentals of economics, this is not disputable, okay? And I'm going to give it to you a lot more plain spoken than the economists that get quoted because they are all tied to some politician or some special interest thing. I'm just giving you basic economic 101 lesson here and how this affects you. So because inflation is now spiking again, 45% or 46% of workers are switching jobs, say, because they need a higher income. And we do know that job switchers do tend to increase their income. This is from the Fed Reserve of Atlanta. But new data from ADP shows that 
Median year-over-year pay increase for job switchers was 10% in March. That's up from 2.9% six months prior. So what does that mean? It means we might be, we might be moving into another wave. Is it going to be as big as the Great Resignation? I don't know. But this looks like we're going to see this happen again. Now, here's the warning. Here's why I share this. Coming out of the Great Resignation, there was what was called the Great Regret. Millions of people who changed jobs, and it did not result in the lifestyle upgrade that they thought it was going to result in. 80% of those who quit their jobs during the Great Resignation regretted their decision to leave. Here's why. And here's the warning. So many people, we're talking millions of people said, I'm going to take a bigger paycheck. But they did not, and this isn't a book plug, but this is the stuff I teach. They didn't decide, they didn't figure out if it was work they were wired to do. They didn't do their homework to say, is the culture actually better or is it worse than the place I'm leaving? And because a bigger paycheck feels so good, two two traps in the new job you got to be aware of. And this is the lesson. Because the bigger paycheck feels like I'm making more money, I got more margin. And then the second feeling is someone wants me. And these are traps. So you got to get beyond the whole I got a bigger paycheck, gives me more margin. And you got to get beyond how it makes me feel. And if you don't do your homework to say, is this the right seat? And is this the right bus? If you don't answer those two questions, you will end up leaving a place where it was probably a much better culture and it might be a better future, but you took the short-term gain. And here's what I know about human psychology. Everything we get new wears off, even the paycheck. I don't know what the numbers are, but I'll bet you it's between 60 and 120 days that raise wears off. It feels really good. First couple of paychecks. And then life sets in because we adapt so quickly. So be very careful here, folks. This is your life. This isn't just, well, because once you leave this company, now you're over here and it's not what you thought it was. Now what? You think that doesn't have a mental and emotional and physical impact on your body? I can't think of very more things from a professional standpoint that can affect me personally than I leave one place, I go over here, and it's not what it was cracked up to be, and now I feel stuck. That's the warning. Be careful. Be careful chasing the promotion with a bigger paycheck because that wears off. And you might be in a worse place than you were before. Think about it. This is the Ken Coleman Show. Launch your tech career today at BethelTech.net slash Ken Coleman.